Hey guys, well we're out for our Friday morning before the trip walk. We are out on a pier, but look how choppy the water is. Can you hear it? Oh, that's the sound of waves to come from on the ship. I just love that sound. Well, I'm walking a little slower today because last night I rammed my toe, my baby toe, into my workout bench. So, yeah, it hurt so much I thought it might have been broken. Um, I had to go to bed with Tylenol and some ice on it. Oh, look at my ducks. They're all so cute. We're out late today because of that. But anyway, um, I woke up. It still hurts. It hurts to walk, but I know it's not broken. It's just badly bruised. So, you know, you gotta have something weird happen before a trip, right? <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna do our walk as much as we can, and as soon as it's, it hurts a little too much, then I will um, take us back home. So, hope you're having a great day. Hope your toes are good. <laughs> we're gonna walk up the ramp now and uh, get going. Talk to you later. Uh, I just had to get back on for a minute. Look at my bird. He's still on there. He's been on there for three days in a row. Is that not the funniest thing? Hey, here, let me try and... Bella's not pulling my arm. I can try and zoom in on him. Look at him. King of the hill. Oh, cool. Anyway, I just want to show you that. Bye, guys. Hey, look. I can say I have my ducks in a row. <laughs> anyway. I know, corny, corny, corny. But I just thought of that when I saw them just all prettily lined up like that. My ducks in a row. I wish. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, ignore the background because it's a mess. <laughs> I'm still getting things organized here, but I finished with my ducks and I just wanted to show you those. So remember I did the card. So oh, what lucky found a duck. Sandy and Les 64th anniversary. Keep or hide, you decide. Hide in a public place only. Uh, no pools, hot tubs, or shops. Make my parents' day. Post a picture on Facebook at Cruising Ducks Dash Original Group. And then I made a boo boo and spelled my dad's name wrong. <laughs> so, um, but I don't have enough ink to reprint them, so we're going with it. Uh, Sandy Less. Hashtag Sandy Less Anniversary 2023. But I put an extra S on there, so. He's not less. He's less. Uh, but anyway, um, and then it says Carnival. And then the back. Um, let me see if I can get a good one here. Come here, little yellow duck. So on the back of that, um, I just put a little uh, scan, QR scan code. Here's a big snout coming to investigate. Hello, ma'am. Um, but uh, so I just am promoting my YouTube channel, trying to get a little more numbers up on my subscriptions and helping them out with the Timu code. So, here's my ducks. We've got yellow guy, we've got orange guy. Well, they're girls, they have little bows in their hair and they're winking. Uh, I got a green one, a purple one, a blue one, and a pink one. So, I will be hiding those on the ship and I'll have to, oh, hers is in her mouth. That doesn't look comfortable, ma'am. Okay, that's better. Okay, are yours in your mouth? No, okay. They're so sad with the little. So all I did was, like I said, print this. I used Avery um, cardstock business cards. So you just print on the, the paper. It's already perforated and everything. Once you're done printing, you just, you know, fold it on the lines and the cards pop out. I then used just a regular old uh, hole punch to make the hole right here. Then I just used some Dollar Tree twine and just tied it onto the card and then tied it onto the duck. So that is it for my ducks. They are ready to go. And uh, there's trouble over there. <laughs> always, always guarding us. There must be just incredible amounts of, you know, burglars and strangers and everything out there. Uh, Cause she wouldn't needlessly just bark at air, right? Right, Bella? Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let you go again. <laughs> I'll come back with more. Okay, just finished up another chore. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, I got my hair trimmed. <laughs> so it's getting a little longer again and lifeless. So I wanted to get the same guy, but he wasn't here today. So 
I just went in and just ran with it. So it's very cute. She kind of gave it a little bit of layering and cut it a little shorter. It's really cute. So, um, and I had a coupon. So it was only $7.99 for the haircut. So yay. Um, you know, and then a tip, of course. But anyway, so let's see what else I have to do today. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Okay, I'm at Walmart. Uh, one more thing on my list here. Get dog food and treats. So that's all I have to buy in here. So I don't need to bring my list with me. So maybe I can zip her up my purse. I have so much stuff in here. <laughs> but I'm going to head into here. I'm going to get her salmon um, dog food because I'm just going to have the sitter do her dry dog food and not all the you know real food that I've been giving her. So I weaned her off of that all week. Um, today, yesterday, the day before. Um, she's basically been eating all um, just dry dog food. I think that'll be easier and and I trust that more than somebody else putting her food in there for her. It's my baby. Anyway, I'm gonna head in here and get that and uh, check with you later. Okay, well that was the score. They had her dog food. Um, they did not have her favoritist, go ahead sir, have her favoritist snack. That's not a word, favoritist. Her favorite um, treat, um, which is the blue brand, the yogurt bars, uh, which she adores. Uh, but they had her second best, which was, um, it's the blue brand too, but it's the um, bacon ones. So she's getting some bacon treats. And uh, what I do with those is normally I'll tell her to go sit on her mat um, in my dining room and I'll put a couple treats down there for her. And then um, I'll have the sitter like close the gate. So she'll get the dining room and the living room all to herself. She's got her bed in there. She's got her food dishes, her water dishes. She can sit outside. All her toys will be in there. Uh, so yeah, she'll have a comfy place. Um, I'm thinking of also taking her crate and um, putting it in the living room up against the dining room so if she wants to go in there she can she normally only goes in there if she's scared of something like she used to be scared of the washing machine really bad so she, every time i turn that on she'd run in her crate uh, otherwise she doesn't really use it it's in you'll probably see it all the time in my videos it's in my guest bedroom um, but anyway i could leave that there for her so she'd have even more space to kind of cuddle and i'll put some of uh things that smell like me in there and she'll be fine so, um, yeah, and then I got myself a little treat. Um, I don't know if you've ever bought them. Oh, I put it in the back. Um, they have little individual containers, and they've got the uh, guacamole in it, and then they have little curled up sticks that you can dip in the guacamole. Uh, so I did treat myself to that. So, uh, But now all my coffee and water is really kicking in, and I have to go potty. And there's a red light and then there's another light and then another so I got one two three lights till I get home um, it's just like two minutes away but these lights aren't cooperating never do when you really have to tinkle so <laughs> I'm like, I gotta get home quickly um, and take care of that but I've done all my like I said I've done all my chores out of the house now I just got to get all my outfits and jewelry together um, and a few more things I think I want to recolor my hair it's looking good everywhere except the part always shows gray at the part so I'll, I'll decide if I'm doing that and um, yeah otherwise it's just packing and whatever else is on my little list I think I have like seven more items on there but they're all at home so Bella will be happy with that <laughs> okay guys and then tomorrow I meet on Saturday morning I meet the dog sitter so yay <laughs> um, she seems really friendly she has her own dogs she loves animals so Day. Um, but Bella being the breed that she is and I know how people are about her even though she's the sweetest dog um, and I know how shelters are about her breed so it just makes me really scared that if she were to get loose you know nothing good would come of that so she is chipped but um, but I still worry really badly about that so um, yeah so uh, I'm nervous, but we'll get through it, right? Yeah, we'll get through it. Um, but today, oh, today this on our walk, um, there was a gentleman, he works uh, down there, and he was doing the trash cans and stuff, and he walked by us a couple times, and he smiled at us, he smiled at Bella, and then uh, when we were walking, we were coming different direction, you know, towards each other, and 
he finally was like, oh, the puppy. And <laughs> he said, is she friendly? And I said, yeah, super friendly. Um, she just wants us to be pet. And he's like, oh, and he's petting her and told, you know, asked her name and told me his son had a horse named Bella that had passed away. That was an amazing horse. And, and then told me about his little chihuahua that he recently um, lost, that he had for 14 years. So, yeah, very nice gentleman. He pet her. Bella was thrilled to death and she could finish the walk happy as could be so so yeah she's uh she's such a goober but i love that dog anyway i am almost home i have made it through all of the lights i just have to get around this curve and into my my little subdivision and get home okay talk to you later pray i make it <laughs> okay bye hi guys i'm back from doing my chores <laughs> well not chores my to-do list for um, my cruise, so um, you should probably have seen the videos ahead of this one. Um, so I went to get my hair chopped again, so better length again. You can just, just that little bit, and it just makes a huge difference in my opinion with my hair. So it just let, allows it to be a little more fluffy and a little more, yeah, better. There's Bella in the background. <laughs> so um, I also went to Walmart and I got her her dog food for when I am gone for the sitter and some treats for the sitter to give her. Do not be barking outside. Uh, and anyway, I'm Deb. I am with Deb's Cool Finds. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for choosing me amongst the million choices you have on YouTube. And if you like this content at all, please go down below and um, hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so you can know if I've posted something on my community tab or I've posted a video and you can watch it at your earliest convenience. I uh, do have a cruise that I'm leaving on in just two days, leaving for in two days. And so that's what the videos that you just saw were all about, uh, me getting ready for this trip. And I just got home, like I said, and I ran to the restroom because I had to tinkle so bad. Uh, anyway, um, TMI, I know, sorry, but that's life. Um, so while I was in there, I just changed into something a little cooler. And um, I did take the chance of stopping at my mailbox before I came home and look what was waiting for me. It's a little one, so that's why I'm combining it with the, you know, uh, day in my life kind of style videos that I just put in front of this one um, and didn't give it its own. Plus I want to publish it before I leave because it's stuff. Well, a couple items, two items are really for my trip and I really didn't think they would get here in time, but I was hoping. So yeah, I have one more package that I really wanted to take with me, but it's not going to get here in time. So I knew that was a risk, but um, yeah. It's a pair of sandals in there that I thought would really be dressy for my blue dress, but I can wear, you know, I have other ones, but I kind of wanted it. <laughs> anyway, so, um, if you are, um, I just want to thank you also, welcome you back. If you're one of my subscribers, thank you, thank you. I love you guys. Love your comments. They have been so informative lately, so very supportive as usual, and, uh, I love hearing about your lives, feeling a part, more a part of your life, and not just me jabbering one way, you're jabbering back at me, and I appreciate that, and I love that. And Bella, Bella's been loving all of the wishes sent her way, and the hugs and the kisses for her. I always give her those. And um, also, I did remember to list down below. Now remember, there's a little line underneath my video, so look right down there. And it starts to like describe something. So it's the description box, but it says dot, 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 more. Click that more. There is a huge amount of info in my description box that you just don't see without clicking that more button. So click that more and you will see everything down below. I'll have the links for these items I'm going to show you from Timu. I have uh, a Timu uh, link that if you have not yet, um, and I don't know why you wouldn't, other than it's so addictive. Uh, if you haven't yet downloaded the Timu app, please use my link below. Um, it will give me $5. It doesn't cost you anything. doesn't change your prices at all. Everything's the same. It just helps me out. Um, and 
uh, it also it also will give you 50% off your first order. And there's also a code down there, an affiliate code, AFI, something, something one day I'll memorize it. But that code will, you know, get you your 50% off and help you with that. Um, and then if you are a current user of Timu and you already have the app, use that code anyway and it will get you a coupon bundle, which are always good to have around. Uh, also, if you have a coupon, and it's expired go into where you where you click you and your orders and there's a whole bunch of choices down there um, I think one of them is coupons and, and you can actually request an expired coupon to come back and so far they've come back for me uh, so that's that part if you don't know about Timu it's a marketplace like that other a place that ships fast uh, Timu doesn't ship as fast, but I did get these pretty darn quick. I, I, I got surprised. Uh, but I think they, this last one was predicted to come on Sunday. So I thought there's no way I'm going to get it because I'm leaving early morning Sunday. But it arrived today, and today is Friday. So that's cool. And um, there's a multitude of sellers on there uh, that are selling to you directly. So... Um, one thing you'll notice is that their prices are very low for items that you often see the exact same pictures on that A place that you see on Timu uh, for the exact same items, but there's a big gap in the price range. So Timu is normally, almost always, the cheapest place to get the items because they're cutting out that middleman. They're not shipping it to another company who's then selling it to you they're selling it to you directly uh, but the other thing that you will notice is different shops on there will sell the same item and they will price it different a lot of times so if you see something you really like keep looking for it from a different seller and you might find it for less money um, there's a whole bunch of different ticks and tip ticks tips and tricks ticks uh, <laughs> for Timu. If you want to see them on my previous videos, please go back and watch them and I help you try and save the most money that you can save while you're still getting to have some retail therapy and get the items that you need or just want. Uh, they have everything. Uh, they have automotive parts. I saw they have laptops. I saw they have a 600 and something dollar tent. Um, uh, electronics, makeup, clothing, kitchen gear except I mean everything almost everything my dad even said you know could I get a laptop on there and I said no they don't sell stuff like that they do I found one I found a tablet I found a laptop blows my mind anyway I don't know the quality of the laptops or anything I am not a technical guru like that as far as uh, computer hardware so uh, yeah check into that but but it exists so it's pretty darn cool so I'm going to get you into this. I want to thank you in advance for hitting that like button, which is that little thumbs up. The thumbs up, not this one. No. Yes. Uh, <laughs> hit, the, hit this one down below. Thank you for doing that. It helps me so much in the YouTube algorithm thingy that gets my videos promoted a little more and helps me get more subscribers. I'm trying to get to 500. Oh, my gosh. Um, I never thought I'd get to 100. So once I flew by that one I thought let's keep flying and set a goal for myself and my goal is 500 to begin with but in that so that 500 goals here but right here right behind it is that thousand goal so <laughs> help 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 me get there so thanks for sharing and helping to spread the word so I will get into my item don't forget your price adjustments if you don't know about them I have a video on them in my collection but click on that you button click on your order Click on every single order from that you have submitted in the last 30 days. Doesn't matter if it's shipped, delivered, whatever. Um, and look for a little line that says request price adjustment. You'll get some money. Right now, on those three items that they sent me all together, they sent me a $5 credit on each of them because they were late. They kind of weren't, but they determined they were. So, yeah. So I had that $15 and I had like over 20 something dollars in credits between the late fees, and the late things and my price adjustments. So I placed another small little order to get here when I get back on my trip. And then I had, I still have like $7 in credit in there. So awesome. This one I saw on one of those deals, lightning deal. And I just thought it was cute. The saying's kind of cute. 
uh, but it was $2.67. I mean, even at a thrift store, when I get workout tops like this, it, you know, if I get a good deal, it's like $2. Uh, that, that one I told you about that I got the great deal. So $2.67 is great. And this is new. So it's just a white little, you know, workout little tank, racer back. And it just says, suck it up, buttercup. So I just thought it was cute. I think of it not towards other people, but kind of towards me, like, suck it up, buttercup. Get walking. So, so yeah. Um, even with my toe problem today, I did my walk. I, I Instinct, as soon as I woke up, was, oh, your toe really, really hurts. You don't have to go on your walk. And then I just talked myself, oh, I'll just walk a little. I'll just walk Bella out to go potty. Well, okay, it's not that bad. Maybe I'll just walk her around in a circle. Well, okay, well, yeah, that's working. I'll just I'll just walk her down the grass. And then by the time I got to the end of the grass, I said, mm, it's feeling a little better, actually. It still hurts, but it's feeling better. Mm, I'll do my whole walk. So, yeah, you can talk yourself into lots of stuff. So, luckily I did it. It's not the normal me, it's the new me. The new normal me. <laughs> right? Right. So, suck it up, buttercup. Of course, it's going to be more than likely your polyester, but it's it's very soft. Oh! Miss Bell. 65% uh, polyester, 35% cotton, so it does have a more cotton feel. Very comfortable and very colorful and very cute. So we got that. Here, Belle, what's this? <gasps> Bella! Do you ever feel like you're being ignored? Yeah, I do. Miss Belle, Miss Belle, hey, come here. No, no, uh, uh, come here. Belle, there's nobody out there. What's this? Here, you want a treat? Nope, can't even trick her because she can't hear me anymore. Okay, this is just a cute little hoodie, and I like the price. It was $6.24, and if it's nice, I think I will bring it with me just in case we want to watch one of the <gasps> dive-in movies on the ship, which is where you just go up <gasps> on the top deck by the pool, and they play t uh, movies on a big screen. <gasps> big screen TV. Come in. Hey, hey, Miss Bell. Thank you. Can't get your attention anymore. Thank you, baby. Whew. Okay. Anyway, they show it on a big screen like a drive-in movie, if you're old enough to remember those. Uh, but anyway, so it might get a little chilly up there, which is lovely. It's just that ocean air, and it's gorgeous. So I thought, hoodie. Ooh, that might work. So it's just this little blue hoodie. It does feel okay, so yay. It's got a zipper all the way down the front of it works nice it's a nice zipper on there so yeah that's very good it's the same color as the shirt that's always nice it's got like this ribbed ribbed look to it okay let me check it out it's got a hood thus hoodie um, it's got your your working ties here so you can tighten the hoodie you know the hood of it or whatever however you want to wear it the arms at the end nice cuff on there very neat it's got a little thread but it won't in a second now it doesn't oh, magic so yeah that's gone but anyway <laughs> that's that so yeah the only thing i would change about it which i'm just noticing is there are no pockets. So if you love and have to have pockets, this is not the hoodie for you. I got it in an extra large and it's 95% polyester, of course, and 5% spandex. So it's got some, you know, bit of give to it, but I just thought that'd be nice and comfy and I could put the hood up and just eat my popcorn and watch my movie. And if you haven't done that before, you can go to the little towel desk on Lido, it's normally on Lido deck is the pool. This is carnival, I'm going to. Um, but you can go to the towel place and ask them for a towel and they just take your, you know, write down your um, your number on your, your folio number on your room key card and they keep that in case you were to steal the towel, they'd charge you. But anyway, you take the little towel and you can wrap your legs up in it and then have your hoodie on, have your popcorn and just comfy as can be. Sometimes they even give out, um, blankets so yeah 
So there's my hoodie. So $6.24. That's a great price. And then there's only two more things in here. There we go. Always the sad part. Uh, this one I was waiting for. This was another, this was a cruise item too. So everything except that. Suck it up, Buttercup. Of course, I'll bring that with probably just to uh, do my morning walk on the ship. So actually, they all could be for my cruise. Um, that's pretty. It's not as blue as I thought it would be. And it's, I don't think it's a true eight. It feels a little small because normally an eight can fit on more fingers than just this one. Because I like to leave this one empty so people know there's no Mr. Me. <laughs> but anyway, not that I'm actively looking. Um, yeah, pretty set in my ways. But anyway, it's just a pretty ring. It's, as people say, I thought it would be a little bigger. That's always on me when I say that because they give you the dimensions. And I normally always check them. This one I liked. It was only a dollar and one cents. So, you know, I didn't really care. It was pretty pretty sparkly so I got it but anyway it's this one so it's a heart in the middle and the heart is white and then it has those blue stones next to it and then just a regular back on it but yeah that is pretty and I will wear that to dinner when I wear one of my blue dresses so that will be pretty and sparkly for a nice dinner on my trip and then lastly, something came in a box. And if you ever get something in a box, you'll notice it's probably crumbled. Um, it's, I do not, I don't believe it's Timu doing that. I believe it's the shipping, the opening of it and inspection by customs. And then customs then has to reclose everything. And I don't think they really care. So uh, they got so much stuff to do. I think they're just let's go let's go let's go so stuff comes crumpled uh normally the stuff is fine inside i've seen some youtubers though that have had damage but i personally have not had that yet so i'm hoping these will fit because these are some shoes and i hope they're pretty but i saw them and i oh, they're just sandals but i'm gonna wear them with um my green dress that green dress that i love that I got um, a bracelet with the same color stones on it as on these shoes. So I think it'll be perfect and just fancy schmancy, comfy as, as me, I know. And my mom, she used to be taller than me. Then we got to the same height, 5'5", five five, and then she was 5'4". Now I think she's even less. Um, and my dad's not that tall either. My son's taller, but I normally, when, if I wear heels or something around my parents, I always feel like a giant crashing through. So, uh, yeah, when I'm going someplace with them, I try and wear flats. Plus, let's be real, they're comfy. So, unless you hate this part, but I don't mind it. But anyway, stop talking, but look at the sparkle on those. I think they came in a white also. But that green, look at that. That's so pretty. And they, they're on this... Is that permanent or is that supposed to come off no that's on there permanent yeah that's on there permanent there's that plastic on it I mean if you hated it I think you could just slice it here and slice it the, you know on the sides and take that off but that kind of keeps the jewels right side up and all pretty and then you don't have the metal like on your skin you've just got the plasticky stuff so that's kind of cool and I don't think you're really gonna see it and it's got a nice stretchy back to fit you on there. But I think they're adorable and they will be nice and sparkly with that outfit. Would heels look better with a dress dress? Yes, of course. But I'm going for pretty and comfortable and this is what I'm doing. So, <laughs> yay, I got them in time. I was so worried. I was like, please let them come in time because that would be so cute. And they did. So, yeah, everything here will be going on the boat with me. So I hope you enjoyed this. Oh, did I tell you what the shoes cost? Originally, they were $11.28. I splurged, but I really didn't because I got price adjustments. And so far, they knocked it all the way down to $6.18. 
So remember, I can still get that price dropped even more potentially because uh, it's within 30 days of pushing the submit order button that you can get the price adjustments. So I check them multiple times a day. I'm a little obsessed with it, especially now when, you know, not working. So I really <laughs> don't have that concern at the moment. Unfortunately, I wish I did. But um, yeah, so I check it multiple times and I can get, you know, a price adjustment on the same item and well, you know, a couple times in one day, maybe I, I have had that happen or are on the same order or whatever. So yeah, check them as much as you want, but check them because that's money on the table for you to grab back and then of course give back, <laughs> but at least you get something for it. And uh, I'm getting close on fish land, but right now it's, it's going like 98. I have one fish left and he is 98 point, I think like 51 um, percent fed but every time I feed it it's it'll be like 98.52 98.53 so it's taking forever but I'm diligently playing along and I hope it works on the ship because I have to buy the internet package so I can keep track if I get any job offers or interview offers or anything so uh, yeah we'll get and I want to put videos out for you of my cruise so if you're interested in that it's another reason to hit that subscribe and notification button below because I'm going to be making videos on my trip. So we will we will get going with that. So I already got my mom and dad on that short little video clip I published yesterday when we were eating at our favorite Chicago restaurant that is now here in the Dallas area. Uh, they didn't know I was filming them, but <laughs> so. I want to try and uh, do that as long as possible until they realize and that, yeah, the, my, my mom hates, hates being filmed. So let's see how that goes. And my son, whenever he catches me filming him, he has to make goofy faces. I don't know why. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll get that going. And then um, when we were golfing, me and my dad and I, we weren't that great at our putting. And so I was like, we got to go play miniature golf so we can practice our putting. And he's like, yes, I want to do that. And unfortunately, last week, my son got COVID. He's now over it, but he had COVID. And then at the beginning of this week, my dad came down with pneumonia, but he called me right away and he's like, I have pneumonia, but I'm not sick. I just have a little cough. I'm fine. And you saw them on the video. I saw them. he's, yeah, I can barely tell he has anything, but he got that. I did this to my toe. Uh, yeah, we're having a time. But um, so anyway, so he wasn't able to golf or anything with me this week or mini golf or anything. And uh, so when we were eating, I said, Dad, I just remember there's a mini golf course on the top of the ship. We can go play mini golf for free. And he's like, yes, we got to do that. So, <laughs> so I hope to get some film of that. It's just a small little mini golf course. I mean, they have miniature golf, um, a basketball court. Um, you can play basketball on it. They play pickleball on it. That's a big thing now. Um, I think you can play um, volleyball on that, that same court. There's a walking, jogging track around the top. And then they have these old-fashioned kind of just um, metal different workout equipment up there that you can be outside and use those things. Uh, some of them have roller coasters. Some of them have uh, rope courses that you can walk around on. Um, yeah, there's, there's, there's plenty to do physically if you want on the ship. There's the swimming pools. There's the hot tubs. There's the you know, a multitude of bars. Uh, there are multitude places to eat. Um, there's shows all the time. There's the fancy shows with their dancers and singers. There's the love and marriage game. Uh, a lot of the ships are now, they're putting it on more of them, but a lot of them now have the family feud game on there and that's hysterical to watch. Uh, so yeah, you can stay as leisurely and doing nothing as you want, or you can stay as busy as you want. They also have the fun squad. And they do games and stuff you can participate in. Games like trivia and ginormous Jenga and um, cornhole. And there's bingo you can play. It's a little pricey, but they do play bingo. And they play, what's that other game? Um, the game, you spend, or maybe it still is, on TV, where it's all the briefcases. 
And and they got to find the million dollars in the briefcases. I don't know if you remember that game or you know the name. You can put it below. I'll probably remember as soon as I click stop. But uh, they play that game. So you buy your little card with your little squares on it. And they flip up. And you can use the card twice in that same time period uh, for the one price. And then they pick a couple of people out of the audience to actually go up and play the game. And then if you match, you know, your little card matches what they get up on the stage, you can win prizes from money to bingo cards to whatever. Um, so yeah. And then bingo, you can actually win a free cruise. You can win money. It's, it's just fun. So like I said, you can do as much as you want. There's shops on there. You could shop. There's a candy store. Uh, there's jewelry stores, of course. There's like a general store, souvenir stores. Uh, you can buy perfume and everything. And it's duty-free, so you're not going to pay taxes on any of this stuff. So it's a little cheaper. And people say the prices are better. I don't know. I don't buy a lot of stuff. You can buy liquor on there. Uh, my aunt used to buy cigarettes for her husband because they were way cheaper by the carton than they were here in the United States. So she'd do that on the ship. Uh, of course, there's the casino. You can always play in the casino. There's the art gallery on a lot of ships. Just It just goes on and on and on. And if you have children, my daughter loved the kids clubs and they're by age. So there's a group that's from this age to this age. And then it goes all the way up to teenagers to 17, I think is the oldest. And they have their own little areas to meet. So the little guys have people in there watching them and doing stuff with them and playing with them. And so you can get time alone if you want. And then as they get a little older, like my daughter, who's a social butterfly, was always in there and met friends that she still talks to to this day. And I hate to admit it, but she just turned 30. So it's been a long time and she still kind of keeps in touch with these people. So yeah, you can, they can babysit for you if you want in the evenings. Um, there's in the pool area, there's always the kids part up there with, you know, the barrels that spill water and the water slides and there's so much to do, but you're going to see it all because I'm going to show you it all on my videos. So please come back. Come back next week. Watch my videos. I'm hoping they all post and everything. My son's going to help me if I have any issues. Uh, but yeah, if they don't post next week, oh, please post. But if they don't, for some reason I have an issue, I will post them as, when I get back. But I will definitely be filming. So you will be able to travel with me. Okay. <laughs> And if you have any questions about cruises or anything, contact me. I actually even have, um, I'm connected with a travel agency, so I can even book things and stuff. So if you need any info, let me know. Pretty ring. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. All my rings. All my rings. Okay, I'm going to let you go because I have stuff to do. I got to probably color my hair. I didn't want to, and I don't think it really needs it that bad. But when she was cutting it, I was like, oh, it's a bit gray up there. I don't like that. So we'll see if I get to there or not. Got to redo these tomorrow. I'm going to wait till, you know, tomorrow to do it so they last a little longer. I always bring the nail polish and the top coat with me because mine chips so easily that, um, I can just do a quick little touch up. I mean, I'm not going to do a whole manicure. Not that I'm wasting my time while I'm having fun, but I will do a little touch up on that. Uh, I still have to make my video with you today or tomorrow morning of what I'm bringing with and how I'm matching it with shoes and jewelry and whatever, show you my outfits. Uh, and then I'll have to pack tomorrow and be ready to pick up my parents at 7 a.m. I think on Sunday morning. And they're half an hour away from me. By the time I get up, yeah, it's going to be an early day. Uh, but my son is getting into Houston at 8 15. Don't know why he did that, but he's gonna have to sit in the airport for a little bit because I'm not leaving at four in the morning to go get him. I love you, son, but yeah. Um, <laughs> so, and he does, he has great friends because somebody volunteered to drive him at four in the morning to the, to the airport where he lives. He's in Maxville. So he's got pretty, pretty darn good friends. And then he's flying back at like midnight. He gets home and he's actually got somebody picking him up for that too. So he should be grateful for the, the great friends that he has. But he's a cool guy. And uh, yeah, he's a lot of fun. So when he lets himself be, he's a lot of fun. <laughs> so we have a good time together. I will jabber forever. And I don't want to do that with you because even Bella has left me. And I'm starving. It is lunch. Well, my watch died. My watch died. I think it's like 
1 30 or 2 o'clock and I'm hungry so I'm gonna go eat and I'm gonna go edit this video for you and I'm gonna publish it so you can watch it and come back come back because the next one's gonna be getting ready for my trip so I keep looking at me and over there instead of right there which is you guys so sorry about that I noticed a couple other youtubers having that issue too we're just we want to see ourselves to make sure we're whatever instead of talking to that little eyeball that little scary eyeball there I should make it into an eye I should put like little eyelashes and stuff on it and then I would think it's an eye and then draw like another little eye and a mouth and make it look like I'm talking to a person that'd be kind of cool hmm ideas to think about <laughs> see why I gotta play music when I'm walking because those are the kind of thoughts that I think of uh anyway I'm gonna go put this all away put this in my uh resell stock reselling stock of some packing supplies and <gasps> go eat lunch and then chop a couple more things off my to-do list so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you have subscribed if you haven't why not it doesn't cost anything it's a quick little shh, on that little button and you've subscribed and we're all happy we're all happy and you've become part of my crew i got a great crew speaking of my crew one more second um adrian love you girl um adrian has a great youtube channel and in that description box i talked about below you will see her um, youtube name go watch her she's awesome she's funny and she's a very loving person and uh, she's very kind to me and about my dog and I love that so she's awesome so go see Adrian and um, go see Diane at uh, Mimi's life she's also listed below she's awesome just a kind sweet soul I think she lives probably not that horrifically far from me from what I can kind of gather from that I think she's I know she's here in Texas so hi Mimi if you watch if you ever watch I'd be so honored these people will watch uh, Adrian does watch Adrian's a subscriber Mwah, Adrian great taste Adrian um <laughs> but, so watch them of course hey everybody I, I list her below too she's amazing um and I think I had don't remember if I listed somebody else and if I did I'm sorry I will repeat it on an, at another time but I like to call out to certain people and the channels that I love and I watch and I'm addicted to so yeah YouTube is another addiction I just I never thought I had an addictive person yeah I do have an addictive personality food but um and now Timu and now YouTube and jewelry and sparkly stuff and and dogs and thank goodness I have Bella because Bella's not that real friendly with other dogs I mean she's not bad with them but she wants to be sole dog so she cuts that addiction or else I probably have a house full of dogs I know one of my viewers I'm sorry I forgot your name at the moment but you have six of them and that's that sounds amazing six bundles of love uh, in your house all the time is just that just that would give me goosebumps if I if I couldn't do that. But <laughs> I just got my one big bundle of love, so I, I uh, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. But uh, but I'm envious of your bundles of love. That you have so many, and that's awesome. Um, and if you don't have a dog and you think you're thinking of one, rescue. Please go to your animal shelters, rescue a dog or one of the rescue centers because there's so many dogs out there that don't have anybody to love them and they're just bundles of love they just want to love somebody and their hearts are pure and just full of love and why wouldn't you want that in your life so <laughs> um, I know there's reasons why you can't or you don't want or whatever but yeah just just go get go get a rescue that's what I will do if something if <laughs> something ever happens to my Bella and I want um, I want more companionship I will rescue um, especially the pit bull uh, breed even though that's not a breed uh, my educating part of the series uh, anyway that's my little spiel and spay and neuter <laughs> sound like Bob Barker and and Betty White you know spay and neuter your pets but um, that's just my belief. If you don't believe that, you know, you do your thing. I'll do mine. But um, that's what I believe. Until we have empty animal shelters, you know, then then 
breed away. But, you know, it's like, let's get those animal shelters emptied out and get those dogs loved and get them into homes, especially the, the breeds that people don't always want or the older dogs or dogs that have issues. Like my son, um, his ex-wife took the dog, but they, they adopted a, a deaf and blind dog. So, and she was just a sweetheart. Well, you know, those animals need love too, just like us. We need love too, even though we got all kinds of issues. <laughs> so, okay, I'm done with my spiel. I think I'm putting off doing everything I have to do, and I can't do that. I can't procrastinate because that ship will sail away without me. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. Bye.